it's Steve Sun 16 here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna do a little brief little video today on the uh, sort of usability really of the uh, 3000 watt uh, 48 volt uh, Chinese style bomber clone whatever. Here it is guys, obviously this is my um, 48 volt 3000 watt Chinese stealth clone bike. So uh, as you can see I've got the uh, 3000 watt motor and it's got the nice fat knobblies on there which are really good on and off road. The DNM uh, rear shock and these uh, and also the KKE front shocks which I love, I really think these are fantastic, I really do. Um, it's just my opinion guys. But the suspension I've set up on this is really, really soft, and um, it's the way I like it. It's it's like it's sort of like riding a, a soft mattress. You know, you're going over uh, bumpy grounds, and and it's nice. You don't you, you don't it doesn't throw you about or anything, and uh, that's the way I like it. But if if you guys are thinking of getting some one of these lower wattage ones, it, it, it just depends on what you want to do. But for me, this is ideal. It's it's smooth on the pedal assist. There's no snappiness. It's, it's more usable as a bike, if you know what I'm saying. Um, if you want to step it up to 5,000 watts, you, you they're okay, but they can be a little bit snappy on the pedal assist, but more uh, sort of bearable. But then you step it up to the um, the 8,000 watt, and the pedal assist on those is an absolute ridiculous in my opinion it is it, it, it felt quite dangerous sometimes um so in the end i actually switched it off on the 8000 watt because um it sort of had a bit of a mind of its own it really did and um i didn't feel sort of safe using it I'm, i mean sometimes i pedal with pedal assist on and like level two but it would just carry on it was it wouldn't cut off or anything it would just continue on and or sometimes it just bite unexpectedly and sort of like you can really lose your grip on the handlebars so that's the reason why I switched it off but um, for this these you know this these lower powered ones this 3000 watt one is for me it's it's more of a bike it's more of a push bike do you know what I mean it's more usable yes you can still get 30 35 plus miles an hour out of it but you can it's it's a, it's a nice cruiser it's smooth through the pedal assist and um especially for someone like myself is you know he's cracking on a bit now I'm, I'm no spring chicken so for i don't want to hair around 100 mile an hour anymore really and uh, obviously i'd like to have a blast down again but um you know for me this is ideal so um if you want a more usable one of these, I would definitely recommend the 3000 watt 48 volt. I, re I really would. If you want a more usable as a, as a push bike, stroke electric bike, stroke sort of mini motocross bike, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, if you know you're not going to power really one of these, you're not going to do massive burnouts and all that sort of thing. So if you're expecting that on one of these lower wattage ones, it, it's just not going to happen unless you change control or put some you know higher ampage for it and change the battery and all that palaver. But it just depends on what you want to do and, and what you can expect. If you want something with a bit more grunt in it, then obviously. You know, step up to 5,000 watt. If you want to go Larry, then you go to the 8,000 watt. It's, it's as simple as that. I've got suspension on this bike set up really soft, which I really quite like. It's like riding a mattress. It really is like a big, soft, spongy mattress over rough grounds. So I'll, um, I'll just give you, try and give you a little bit of a demo on uh, how soft the suspension is. But take in mind that I am pushing 100 kilos myself. So if you can just see from that little demo there, 
that's uh, the suspension on this is set up really really soft which I, I really like and I prefer obviously you can stiffen it up if you want to but it's entirely up to you so there you go guys that's just a brief little um, insight into one of these lower wattage Chinese clone bombers and um, let me just flip the camera around so there's just a little bit of a view from the uh, front, which are, I think they look absolutely fantastic. They really do, especially all in black. I really like them all in black. And there's black Blackdale forks and the uh, lower front uh, fork protectors there. Yeah, it could do with some fenders on there. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and your support and uh, thank you very much. And uh, until the next one, keep safe and I'll see you next time. Thanks now, bye-bye.